camera and just, you know, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Anton Vidokle. I am the founding director of EFLUX, chief curator of the Shanghai Biennial, and also an artist and filmmaker myself. Early this year I was invited to curate the 14th edition of Shanghai Biennial. Shanghai Biennial is a, actually a very, very important event for China, for Southeast Asia as a whole, but also it's basically now emerging as one of the top 10 biennials in the world on par with Venice Biennial, Documenta, and Berlin Biennial and others. It's a very unusual project that started in 1996 by a group of artists from Shanghai, from China, who wanted to organize a, an exhibition of actually traditional art. Yeah, And it took place at kind of an older municipal museum called the Shanghai Museum. But since then, it developed into a really incredibly large-scale exhibition that is completely international, that includes artists from all over the world. The curators, for most part, are chosen from other countries, although there have been very many notable Chinese curators that curated previous edition, but they make an effort to stay international rather than focus only on Chinese art scene. Another very important component of the Shanghai Biennial is a special online cinema that we created, which was very generously sponsored by that art, which is called cosmoscinema.art. It's a website where we stream all of the moving image work that is included in the exhibition. Exhibitions are really wonderful mediums for communicating ideas, but unfortunately they're always limited to a specific location. So we wanted to do something to extend the biennial and make it accessible to people that are unable to travel to Shanghai to see the show. Particularly with moving image, it becomes very effective because you can not only show photographs of an exhibition or an artwork, but you could actually show the film itself, yeah? So basically Cosmo Cinema, the uh, online, is a selection of 26 films. All of them, basically, we try to methodically address specific topics related to this notion of cosmos and cinema, yeah? From the technological questions to the questions of philosophy and ethics of, of the cosmos and of the future to different kind of issues. Before Cosmo Cinema, before the Biennial and the Biennial website that we created, I started a website. It's a kind of an online archive, which is called cosmos.art, where I collected all of the writings, philosophical texts, but also poetry and fiction that has to do with Russian cosmism. It also contains like a very, very detailed timeline of cosmism, all of the important events and the development of this philosophy and how they relate to other key events in the world like the world wars and revolutions and other transformative effects. It also has a little cinema on it with some of the films that I have made and it also has a number of art projects as a kind of a little museum which is slowly evolving, yes, of projects by other artists who work with related ideas that donated online interactive project for the collection of this tiny informal museum. In the course of my research, I noticed that these ideas about cosmos, about the relationship between life on Earth and life in the cosmos, are not really only particular to the context of Russia or Soviet Union, or even Europe as a whole, that this is a much more global thing because it seems that almost every culture, be it ancient civilization, indigenous societies or modern societies, have a very, very intimate relationship to cosmos through astronomy, through astrology, through divination. So there is this kind of really profound level of connection between life on, on Earth and everything that exists outside of it. And artists have been reflecting of this since the beginning of societies. Films work, moving image works through its psychological, emotional impact, you know. So we try to design the kind of an exhibition that triggers the psychology, emotions, feelings of the audience, rather than something much more 
cold, aloof, and based around contemplation, which is what you normally have in museum displays or museum exhibitions. Yeah? So this is basically the Cosmos Cinema.